Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brick Workshop. Now, a while ago, when the original path guide system was introduced, I did a four-cut, some people call it five-cut test, to demonstrate how accurate it was. And it was really good. Then when the Mark II system came out, um, I showed a video which included a four-cut test for that as well. And it didn't turn out so well. But I published it anyway because that's the way I do things. I don't hide anything. And the reason that original four-cut test wasn't very accurate was because, unknown to me at that time, I had my adjustment on my track saw uh, set up incorrectly. On the Festal uh, saw, there are two little green knobs here and here, uh, which tighten the saw onto the track. If those are loose, then the saw can move around a bit and I didn't realise that at the time. So I repeated that uh, four-cut test and published it in some Bakshi video which wasn't called four-cut test. And everyone said, well, you know, I can't find it. So what I've now done is I've taken that definitive four-cut test with the Mark II path guide system and I've put it into this video. In this video, you will see me do a comparison between that four-cut test, the good one, and the duff one, which I'd done before. And I think you'll see just how maladjusted my saw was in that original first video. Well, I suppose I'd better do a four-cut test. Um, now, some people call it five-cut test. I've got a, a known good edge there, which is the fifth cut, if you like. So I'm only going to do four cuts, and I'm going to take a trim off this all the way around and then measure the final off cut. Uh, incidentally, when I did the four cut test with the Mark II path guide system, uh, and I made a video about it with a clock just here, um, <laughs> I'd failed to make sure that my uh, tighteners on my saw uh, were snug up against the guide rail. So it wasn't a particularly clever test, I'm afraid, but I've left it there because uh, well, I did it, so there we go. So, here we go, four cut test. So this is the piece we're going to measure, and I'll write the figures down on here. 21.31, this end, 21.63, and the difference between those two is 0.32. Um, the length of this piece is 495. 495. It's 0.32 divided by 495 divided by 4 equals, and it is three zeros, 0 0.00016. I can't remember what the previous reading was for the, the other one, but I, I, th I think that, that must be pretty, pretty reasonable. Uh, and I can just do a quick check with my square, and the purpose of this is to see whether one can spot anything with the naked eye. There is absolutely no gap there at all, which is what I would expect. Now that four cut test is absolutely superb and you should expect to get similar results whether you're using the original system or the Mark II system. Now when you do anything to do uh, with things fitting into the holes on the plastic, you must make sure that they are properly seated and that there's no gap, that it's not at a, a funny angle or anything silly like that. It has to be fitted in. Now, when you first get your path sticks and your other bits of kit, you'll find that these are going to be pretty stiff in there. And that's only because uh, there's no chamfering on here to make it easier to get it in. Uh, and there's no chamfering on there to make it easier to get in either. Uh, this is going to be uh, the first couple of times you're effectively reaming the hole with that. So, 
uh, be prepared to give it a little bit of a, a twist and a push the first few times that you use it. The holes which are down the path stick are in a dead straight line. These path sticks are rulers and a ruler is not a straight edge. So it is possible that these holes are not absolutely parallel to one edge or the other and it makes no odds whatsoever. There is no claim made by Axminster or me that the centre line of these holes is going to be parallel to either of those edges. So don't worry about it. The key thing is that these holes are in a dead straight line and that's the important thing. The fact we've put ruler graduations on here is just so you can use this as a ruler from time to time. It's not to have any other function uh, associated with the path guide system. Well, that's the completion of the revised four cut test, which is now going to be much easier for people to find. Um, incidentally, behind me, I'm making a video right now uh, about the creation of my new Traxor cutting station, which I've just finished. It's behind me, but I've got a lot of sort of tinkering around with video work to do before I can publish the video about it. And I will be making uh, the plans for this, the diagram that shows you how to lay it out, available free of charge. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>